Now I'm going to create an image gallery, uh, sorry, a menu. So again, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and menu I can find under appearance. So appearance is the overall look of the website and a theme is like a set of rules. So it's the theme that determines how the pages appear with the logo and the title, the positioning of that, sometimes the background colors. So let's look at customize. And here we can see where I've set up the name of the magazine, the logo, which has appeared here, the title, which automatically appears at the top of every page, the tagline. Um, I've identified this image to be the logo icon and that makes it appear in the tab up here nicely. But at the moment, we're going to go and look at menus. So menus is here. And as you can see, I created a menu earlier with these four, but let's look at that. So you can see there's four pages I linked to for this menu. Let's create a new menu because you'll be starting from scratch. So I'm going to call my menu uh, test menu. And I want it to be in the primary location, which is up at the top here. Click next. And I'm going to add items to it, the menu. At the moment, the menu is empty, as we can see. So I'm going to add items. So I'm going to add an, a page from my existing pages. And I'm going to choose, let's see, uh, perhaps the home page. No, I don't need a home page because I've already got a link on the logo that takes you to the home. So I'm going to choose magazine gallery and you see it adds to there. I'm going to have the contact page there. And I think there was also I made one that was for a gallery somewhere. Oh, I've added the gallery added the contact page, latest post, I'm going to add that. Okay, so now we can see that it's appearing over here, but I want to alter the order. So I'm going to click and drag that up at the top and we can see that the order changes. I'm happy with that. I could also make that a sub menu by clicking and dragging like that. And then it would appear as a kind of sub menu. I'm going to click and drag that back. So I'm happy with that. And then I save my changes. And now you can see that I've got a working thing. I'm going to go back and visit the site. And you can see how it appears. So now I've got latest posts. And that's showing a summary of my latest posts, which links to each of the posts. I've got a magazine gallery and I've created a contact page.